And here we have 4.5 factoring a product of a quadratic trinomial and a monomial. So the first thing we need to do is factor out GCFs always if we can. And in this case, every one of these numbers can be divided by three. And the lowest exponent I can take out is x to the fifth. When I do that, I end up with 3x squared minus 10x minus 8. And then I would have to continue factoring this using the AC method. So 3 times negative 8 is negative 24. And then 2 times 12 will actually subtract to give me 10. Bigger number having to be negative, so smaller number is positive. Those multiply to give me negative 24, but when I do 2 minus 12, I get negative 10. So we're going to split this middle term. And we have positive 2x minus 8x minus 8. Chop in half. Um, let's see. Oh, this one won't be able to factor anything here. So because I can factor out an x, and I get 3x plus 2. And then here, if I factor out a minus and an 8, I get x plus 1. But these don't match, which means this cannot be factored using the AC method. Um, oh, yes it can. It's because I made an error. I apologize. I wrote positive 2 minus 8 instead of positive 2 minus 12. So it should have been 3x to plus 2x minus 12x minus 8. There we go. Now we cut in half, factor out the x this side has in common, bring down the minus, factor out a 4 that this side has in common, and we get positive 3x and positive 2, and then finally factor out the 3x plus 2, leaving me with x minus 4. Just can't forget about the GCF from the very beginning you have to include that in your final answer in order for you to get the problem correct. So similarly with this example, we're gonna go ahead, all of those can be divided by three, and u with the smallest exponent would be squared. So here, u squared minus eight u plus, I believe that's 16, but let me verify, 48 divided by three, Yes, is 16 and the u squared is gone. Then here I would try to factor this. Um, it doesn't have a number in front, so I can just do u and u. And then numbers that multiply to give me 16 but add to give me 8, that would be 4 and 4. And because it's a negative 8 and I'm adding, they would both have to be negative 4. Or I could rewrite that as u minus 4 squared, since it's the same thing repeating twice. And that's the definition of a squared.